everybody. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Pursue the Wild Tips from the Wild. I am at Kafaro International with Eric Bender. You guys haven't seen him with me since 2017. It's been a while. So we're going way back. We've both aged, but I think we both are still fabulous. Today we're talking about the Echo. Yep. Yep. The Echo is a new pack that we're coming out with. It is a combination of a few of our older packs. So you'll probably see some things like the front of the door gunner. We've got the expansion panel of the Quandry, which gives you about a quarter more space. It is about a little under 1,200 cubic inches to begin with. And then you could add an extra 400 cubic inches if you need to. And it comes with our new shoulder straps. Um, it's got spacer mesh on the back. There's spacer mesh underneath here, so it's very breathable. So when you talk about new shoulder straps, Right. What's new and improved about these? So in a lot of our smaller packs, we used to use the x-ray shoulder straps. And that was meant more for if you had kind of a lumbar pack set up or if you had a thicker torso. Let's say you're wearing plate carrier uh, for the military dudes. You could expand it away from the pack. Roger. And what it would do is it would twist as you were putting it on. And it wasn't as comfortable as, I, as I'd liked. So I did some patterning to uh, get these to wrap around the body and become a lot more comfortable, more breathable. And... Uh, tried to make the user experience a little bit better, more Absolutely, comfortable. Absolutely, yeah. No, that's awesome. So this pack is right at two and a half pounds, so it's yep. super lightweight. It's kind of going to be that everyday carry backpack. So if you're going out in the back 40 to check trail cameras, if you're running into town and you're like me, you hate carrying a purse, this thing is awesome. But it's super functional because you can expand it, like you said. Yep. Put tons of gear in there. you still hydration compatible. You mm -hmm. can put your water bottle on the side. Yeah. Now, it's also hydration compatible inside as well. Correct. So we'll take out the sleeping bag that we have in here. You can see that it's X-Pack lined for the most part. We've got a front pocket in here with a key hook, which nice. is kind of my thing. Mm -hmm. I, I do not like losing keys. We've, I lose mine everywhere we go, I swear. I'm I've like, had to drive people down the hill to get a <laughs> set of keys, and it's yeah, no fun. Not no good. On the inside, there's a mesh pocket that's pretty big. Great for storing a beanie, your gloves, extra stuff to keep it out of the way. we got our chamber pocket, which is pretty standard. Mm -hmm. And in it comes a removable belt that'll hook up down here to the common loops. And this is removable if you don't want to use it. Some people don't like it. And then in the back hydration. here. Hydration. Yep, we've got the hydration sleeve. There's a Bane frame sheet in here. This one's for a stay. You can get it without a stay, which I recommend if you're going to be doing things uh, really active, like riding a bike, you're going to have room for uh, the curvature of your spine. But if you are just going to be walking around with it, you could definitely throw that stay in there. This is a little bit narrow for most laptops. If you're running a netbook or like a Surface Pro with a keyboard, you could definitely fit it in there. But you yeah. can still put them in the main pocket though. You can still put it in the main pocket. And if you needed that extra room, you would unzip this and you can see that you add that extra room in there. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice if you're on the way home from work and uh, you needed to pick something up. You can throw that in there, or if uh, you realize that the, the mountain that you're going to be climbing the next day is going to be a little bit colder, you could throw that extra puff of your fleece in there and not feel too mm -hmm. bad about it. Or you can just throw it on the outside with the straps here, and, exactly. and that's what I do a lot, is I just throw my extra clothes on on the front of the po uh, the backpack and kind of let it hang off the back. And, and Or as I take off layers, it's a great place to store them um, so that they're kind of out of the way. You don't lose a lot of space as far as cubic inches in the main bag itself, and then you can layer up layers down super quick and yep. uh, comfortably as well. So this bag, 1160 cubic inches on the main, mm -hmm. it's got 400 cubic inches of expander, yep. right at two and a half pounds. This is the new Echo. If you wanted to use this on an extended stay pack, as an add-on to the exterior, the way you would like with a striker, you can do that with this as well. And then you right. have a little bit bigger bag. Uh, you can. It does have the tabs up top. And then there is uh, the daisy chain down on the bottom. So there's a bunch of ways to hook it on. The striker actually started from these patterns back in the day. It was adapted to turn into the striker. And then eventually we came back to it and turned it into the day pack that I'd been messing around with. So you would actually have... Uh, a few generations of the same bag lined up on that if you have this on a striker. And I have used this as a lid going in. It's a great fishing pack so that you could drop that full frame once you're done. Yeah, right on. These are available right now on kavaro.net. So get online, do some shopping, and check out the new Echo.